Hi, welcome to our new Realistic Environments tutorial. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the final scene file we'll be creating and discuss a little bit about what we cover within this tutorial. Now, this is sort of a modular tutorial. When I set out to create this, um, I wanted to create a couple of different types of paint effects bush, a couple of different types of paint effects trees, but in radically different styles. So the outcome of this tutorial will be you'll be able to make your own uh, assets in Maya for exteriors. Now if I had to zoom out on my scene here, you can see we've got some different varieties of tree. We've got the willow, we've got these trees here. Um, we paid special attention to getting some lower res trees and as you can see some higher res ones here. We'll go through geometry placement for all of this so if we bring up the renders you can see that our grass here has been placed in the scene but also it looks like it's actually on the surface so there's no tufts of grass sticking out. We'll discuss several different ways of doing this both with particle systems and hand placement. We'll also talk about some of the scripts you can get for placement of things like this um, so you don't spend four hours trying to get your scene nicely organized. We'll move on and we'll create everything you see in this scene is created um, in sort of modules so these trees for instance are created and then this tree is created this ivy and I'll be showing you how to place ivy like this on pretty much any poly surface then we create these little effects here like this ivy down here these bushes these bushes in the foreground you probably can't see at this resolution but we have things like little white flowers the sort of very rough pathway you can see coming down I'll be discussing how we get our grass once again orientated towards the surface and also how you design things like little pathways how you get a very high resolution grass at the front here and how you can use a much lower resolution in the background and we all go through pretty much every element you see in this is covered in this tutorial we add a little bit at the end for things like this volume fog lighting effect also we'll cover some of the basics of post-production very very quickly towards the end of the tutorial the real goal was to allow you to sort of build up a plant library and we'll discuss you know for, for instance this tree has eight times the amount of polys as this one but this one still looks pretty realistic so we'll be talking about how to manage memory in terms of polygon count um, towards the end of the tutorial so you don't need sort of 32 gig of RAM to do a simple render and as you can see we have some other details here like this field grass so really as I mentioned we want you to start to build up a library of trees plants and grasses that you can add to any exterior scene now for me personally this has been one of the largest projects I've worked on for Simply Maya. The tutorial itself is approximately 12 hours long during which we will cover pretty much everything you're going to need to know about paint effects in Maya to create you know scenes like this um, and we don't spend too long building the actual scene it's quite a simple in terms of its geometry this is because I wanted to help you guys concentrate on building up a library of your own so we'll cover everything from simple scenes like this with just the two different types of grasses so you've got the one grass in the foreground and then you've got this field grass we'll cover scenes like this and we'll cover very briefly some volumetric lighting effects okay so all the video is in 10 um, 1080p so it's all high def video the scene files have been saved on Maya 2014 and you will be able to do this tutorial on any version of Maya after 2009 so it will work with any version of Maya but as you probably are aware Maya Autodesk have changed the the uh, file format for Maya in versions 2013 2014 so it may be that you could have some problems opening my scene files they're not necessary and you know I cover everything I I cover in the scene so you don't actually need them so if you are on an older version of Maya you'll be able to follow along with no problems and I've included within the resources section um, 
within the download in the first part is all the textures that we used within this tutorial because we also discuss uh, texturing a little bit, seamless texture creation, how to create a variety of different leaves from photographs you take yourself. So once again we've tried to concentrate on allowing you to build a resource pack of your own. Um, we didn't want to say to you, you know, you have to go out and buy lots of expensive textures. We've concentrated on actually picking leaves and just taking the pictures ourselves so you should be able to by the end of this just really recreate a lot of the stuff that you could just go out and find outside and take photos anyway thank you for watching this brief introduction i hope you enjoy this tutorial certainly a lot of fun to make so thanks for watching